वेलकम टू टेक्नो मैथ वे यू कैन फाइंड मैथमेटिकल शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ट्रिक्स क्लिक हेयर टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक विंडोज एट बूटेबल यूएसबी डिस्क जस्ट बाई यूजिंग कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट In order to make Windows 8 bootable disk we need a Windows 8 ISO file and an 8 GB USB stick As you can see I have this Windows 8 ISO file over here you can use any third party software to mount this image on the virtual drive okay Here I am using a Power ISO software, and I have mounted this on this virtual drive here. Along with that, I have this 8 GB USB stick. So let's move ahead and see how to make this USB bootable. Go to the Start menu. Type in CMD. right click on it and click on run as administrator this will launch the command prompt with administrative rights here first of all note down the drive letters of our virtual drive and a usb disk so our virtual drive which can contains Windows 8 setup files has a drive letter of G and the USB disk contains the drive letter J. Now get back to our command prompt and type following commands. Disk part. Now type list disk. Now this command will provide you the list of all available disks including external hard drive your machine's hard drive and uh, if there is any usb stick connected to it here you can see this 149 gb is my internal hard drive of the laptop and uh, you can identify the usb stick by its size it says here the disk 2 is 7633 mb around 8 gb so disk 2 is my usb stick so i'm going to select disk 2 and i am going to clean it okay but before executing this command please make sure you have selected a right disk because you might end up selecting disk 0 and clean your internal hard drive okay so before i execute this command i will make sure by typing this command list disk here you can see the disk 2 is marked by star which indicates that the disk 2 has been selected as of now So I'm going to execute the clean command now. Hit enter. And now you will notice that our USB stick is totally clean and it does not have any partitions. So we are going to create a new partition for our usb stick type in create partition primary it will show you this got succeeded in creating the specific partition after creating the partition we need to active we need to make this partition active so type in command active and now we need to format these active partition so 
again before cleaning the active partition just make sure the right disk has been selected so type in the command again list disk and you can see the disk 2 has been selected there, which is our USB stick okay now type in following command to format the partition format fs equals ntfs quick hit enter it will take some time to format this drive sorry our USB disk drive is marked by J not this one you can see once the disk part successfully formatted the volume it will uh, show the active partition okay so currently the volume is marked by the label J now I am going to assign a new label so just type in the command assign hit enter you will notice that our USB stick is now labeled with a new drive letter that is K once this is done then type the command exit so it will leave the disk part and it will come to our normal command prompt now uh, we remember we have mounted our windows 8 iso file over this virtual drive so go into this virtual drive go into the boot folder and we need to locate this boot sect.exe okay so here the current location is c windows system 32 but we need to go to this location that is g slash boot folder so I am going to select the drive G then CD boot folder and now type in following command that is boot sec our file space NT60 and the drive letter of our USB stick you remember our USB stick is now having drive letter as K so type in drive letter K colon and hit enter you can see the target volume will be updated with the boot MGR compatible boot code and the boot code was successfully updated on all the targeted volume so finally our USB stick is ready to boot okay but still the disk is empty and there's nothing in it so we just need to go into this drive copy all the files go into the USB stick and paste it in here it will take some time to copy all the files so I'm just skipping this copying part I hope you like this video please share it and provide your valuable comments in the below comment box thank you